Hello there, Mr. Jones. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Mishra. I'm one of the psychiatrists that work here in the outpatient department. Uh, I've got a little bit of information as to, to what's been going on. Uh, it's something that your um, CPN Jackie um, has been has been seeing you because um, you recently had a an illness of, of been diagnosed with depression and had seen one of our our, our psychiatrists and was started on some some medication fluoxetine. Mm. And, and since you've been on that, things have been going quite well. You've been on it for about a month or so. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah. Uh, and um, and now you're sort of very keen to come off the medication. I understand. Yeah. Okay. And from what I understand, when before you were on the medication, it sounds like your depression was actually um, quite significant for you in terms of how it was impacting on your life. Yeah. Um, but uh, but just to clarify, so since you've been on it, how, how have you how have you found being on that medication? Right. Yeah. Much better. Much better okay. in myself. You know, in a lot of. The people that I kind of socialise with and hang out with have seen a, a, a difference in me okay. as well, and it's yeah, it's been great. It's been really great. useful. Okay, um, and so could I just could you sort of share me why you were why you were keen to come off it so so soon? I just feel that I don't want to become reliant on them, okay. um, and there's there's a part of me that yeah just feels that you know they've 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 worked, and so now okay. would probably be a good time to look into coming off. Okay, I mean. Um, do you, uh, I mean, what do you think might happen if you did come off these medications at the moment? I think that, that uh, I've kind of pretty much kind of continued to be the way I've been feeling okay. the last couple of months. I found a lot about myself, and okay. yeah, I feel great about okay. positive about it. I mean, if if I if I think one of our concerns is given given the sort of the severity of how depressed you had been um, before being on the medication. And, and um, as I said, I'm extremely glad that there has been an improvement. I think our concern, and certainly Jackie's and, and my concern, is that if you were to stop the medication so soon, that there'd be a return in, in your depressive symptoms. Mm. Um, and, and, we, and we certainly, as I said, wouldn't want you to take a backward step around that. Um, I mean, would that be something that you might consider? I mean, we would be, we would be thinking for, for you to be on the medication. I mean, the guidelines sort of recommend that you'd be on it for at least six months um, before right. we would consider... Uh, doing that, I mean, I don't know how you'd feel about remaining on it for six months. Um, it's another five months, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's quite a quite a long that's period of time to. I mean, I mean, in terms of being reliant, um, these medications certainly aren't addictive in any way either. Um, right. But I think, as I said, our concern is that you'd be, um, if you if you were to stop the medication, there'd be a return in the. To how it was uh, before. before. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but. It, it seems like you're still not convinced. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, would you mind asking, are you getting any, any side effects at all to the, to the medication? Um, no, I mean, it was a long list in, okay. the, in, the, in the thing, but yeah, nothing. Okay. I mean, um, it, it, it is certainly um, very common, certainly in men, that, that they, they can develop side effects that um, can be quite um, sensitive or embarrassing. Have, have you had any side effects like that at all? Um, like, mm. I mean, some people can, some men um, complain of um, problems in their sort of sexual functioning. Has, has that been a problem at all? <laughs> um, yeah, kind of. Okay. Would, would you mind me if I asked you some questions about that? No, no, okay. yeah. Um, I mean, had you found your desire for sex when you were unwell? Uh, what was that like? <laughs> um... Yeah, it didn't really exist. Okay, but now is that then? Yeah, uh, yeah. Since since starting the medication, actually, it's it's got better. Okay, which is good. Okay, um, but so uh, and then in terms of uh, I see you're married and what's, yeah, yeah how's, what's your relationship like with your wife? Jane? Yeah, great. Yeah, she okay. yeah, she's very supportive okay. and, and yeah, have nothing's you, changed okay. there. I mean, have you noticed any changes in your desire to be intimate with her or? No, no. I mean, okay. my yeah, my want is is increased, but yeah, nothing. Okay. Okay. So there's been some some return in that want in that yeah. desire. Okay. Is, does your wife put any pressure on you at all in any way? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Um, and then would you mind asking in terms of the, the side effects that you're getting? Um, yeah. Is it? Um, I said, said a lot. As I said, a lot of men do um, find this. Is it in terms of um, actually um, getting an erection? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, getting one and. And maintaining and, and 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 finishing as well. It's okay. Yeah, it's, that's okay. kind of. No, I appreciate you um you, you sharing that with me. <coughs> um, and are you able to get an erection at all? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so, yeah. So okay, so so in the morning, say, is that? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It, it tends to be a problem when we try to have sex okay. together. Okay. The problems that's when it okay. happens. And has that affected your relationship with your? Wife is great about okay. it. I think for me personally, it's just uh, okay. a, a pride and yeah. Okay, sure, sure. No, I appreciate I appreciate that. Um, do you um, drink alcohol at all? No, so, um, but, like okay. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you smoke cigarettes at all? No. Do you take any other drugs at all? No. Okay. No. Okay, Mr. Jones. I, I appreciate that, um, certainly what from from what you're telling me. That, the, that if let's say if the, we could manage these side effects, and that those weren't an issue, would 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 you be keen to then remain on the medication? Would that be fair to say? I, yeah, I think if I'm being honest, you know, I know that the medication's done me really well, but it's the side okay. effects of the what. Side effect. Okay, I mean, what I, what we can do. I mean, um, so as I said, it, it's very likely that the medication that the medications are responsible for these side effects. But what I would suggest that we could do moving forward is, A, we could keep things under observation because there is um, certainly evidence that these sexual side effects can actually go up, go away by themselves. Okay. So that's one option. The other option is that we, we lower the, the fluoxetine from 40 milligrams down to 20 just to see if we can get a balance of maintaining your mood but also help alleviating some of these side effects. Yeah. The other option is actually switching your antidepressant to a, a different um, antidepressant which doesn't have a, this propensity to to cause these sexual side effects. But the issue is that there might not be any guarantee that that would still maintain right. your, your yeah. view. But we don't have to make a, a decision about that today. Okay. okay. But I'll give you some information leaflets on on um, potentially other, other antidepressants that we could look at. And then maybe we could book another appointment and, and discuss those then. Yeah. Does that sound okay? Yeah. So remain on the 40. At the moment. For, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll see you again soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay.